we need to pray. We need to pray hard. We are taught that when you pray for others, the angels pray for you in the same way. When you ask goodness for someone, that goodness is being asked for you. Become in a habit of making a good dua rather than a dua of destruction. Because if you make a dua for destruction for someone else, the evil effect of that dua might just rebound onto you. Remember that. It's a reality. If they don't deserve it, it's going to come back to you. So try to get out of this habit of making dua for destruction and evil for others. Oh Allah, break that person, destroy this person, damage that person. I don't even know what words people use in their dua. We rather say, Oh Allah, soften their hearts. Oh Allah, open their doors. Oh Allah, help them. Oh Allah, grant them goodness. Oh Allah, make them pure, etc. So we're making ourselves pure as well as a result. So we have a long fast, mashallah, tabarakallah. And the healthiest thing you could put in your mouth is a date. The most unhealthy thing that you could put in your mouth is... I'm hearing people saying samosas, fries. I didn't say anything. I haven't even said it. I just said is. And I left the blank. So you filled it subhanallah with your own words. But what are you going to be having more of? The healthy or the unhealthy? The unhealthy. Unfortunately, why? Because it's tasty. Okay, that's a very, very interesting observation. We would love our pies and our fries and our savories and what we've prepared. You know, back at home, my wife sent me a picture on WhatsApp of one of her friends, the freezer, is so beautifully organized with tubs, subhanallah. Each tub says day one, day two, day three, day four. And I'm thinking this is supposed to be the dhikr of Allah and the plan of what you're going to do to gain closeness to Allah. And here we have day four. And these are, I actually have it on my phone. These are tubs. In them there is food. Subhanallah, you can actually see. It's plastic, you can see through. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's not haram. But look, my brothers and sisters, something very important. Are we not all becoming more health conscious? I want an answer. We're becoming more health conscious. As time passes, people are talking of organic. People are talking of this, that, everything else. I told you the most unhealthy. Everyone knows already. Too much oil, too much this, too much that. Unhealthy. Cholesterol, what have you. Carbs. Everyone wants to limit what they're having. Because we all want a figure. We all want a body that looks Good. We all want subhanallah to feel healthy. We all want goodness, etc, etc. But I want to tell you something. We are so concerned about this health of ours and the way we look that we go out to spend hours in a gym, 45 minutes to two hours a day. We will sweat. We will struggle. We are dedicated. We will not want to miss at all. We make sure we stay away from certain foods just because you want to look good. Just because you want to get rid of something called a love handle. You know, that's why there's so little of love nowadays because those handles are missing by the way. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. Okay, I'm just covering myself. Alhamdulillah. So... <laughs> My brothers and sisters, it's a reality. People make an effort. They are dedicated. You're offering them something. They tell you, I won't eat because it's not healthy. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, if we had a shape spiritually, I wonder whether we would like to look at ourselves in the mirror. That's the type of shape we would be.